He's a um, pajama cardinal. It's at least 12 or 13 years old. And it just makes me wonder how old do these fish get. Because I'm sure they wouldn't live anywhere near this long in the wild. It's actually quite common for fish to live much longer in an aquarium than they would in the wild. I like these things. They sort of look like an Aboriginal painting that's come to life. So he's had a very good run, this fellow. He's very happy here in this tank. Come on, turn around, show us yourself. So the cardinals have got very large eyes on them because they're predominantly active and feeding at night time. They've got a whopping big mouth because they're actually a mouth brooder. And um, other cardinals have actually bred in this particular fish tank. It's spectacular big red eye. So very easy to keep, very good for beginners. If you're getting a group of these guys, you'll see them sort of chase each other around and play with each other through the back of the reef. And you'll always see them just on the crest of the reef, sort of... Um, not usually deep in the reef and not usually out in the open. Lovely, gracious little fish. And this one's an absolute grandpa. But he's looking pretty good, I think. I think he's still got a few years in him yet. I'd be really interested to see how long he does actually live. So obviously he's not going to get any bigger. And one of the reasons why fish live longer in an aquarium than they do in the wild is that in an aquarium they've got no stresses and they've got no predators. They've sort of just got life on a silver platter. This guy gets all the spectrum he can eat. Gets no threats. Doesn't have to fight for territories. Doesn't have to fight for food. So he's loving it.